having a little slow day today, so I thought that would be a good time to maybe review one of my figures. So I chose to do this guy because I don't really see a lot of really in-depth view of this guy. And since the sun is a little nice today, you get some natural light review on this guy. So this is the Fire Toys McDonald's Joker type uh, figure based on the DX11 Hot Toys. As you can see, he's got that face sculpt from the DX11, if you guys are familiar with. This is from a brand called Fire Toys. I can't really tell you much about Fire Toys because I just saw this listing one day and I said, mm, okay, why not? With that being said, let's 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 take a look at this handsome boy. And here he is. The Fire Toys Joker. Oh, there goes the focus. Great. Let's do this slowly so my little phone doesn't freak out. And there are his little red shoes over there. Really nicely made. Still intact, not peeling, not cracking. I'm a big fan of that. Let me see if I can get a tool here. There we go. I'm not really a fan of this thing. I try my best to hide that. But because the vest is so tight, the more I pull, scared that that little lock thing will will snap and then I'll have another problem so I'll just leave it alone for now I have to rotate them slowly because my camera tends to um, freak out hope I'm getting as much detail as possible This is back. It comes with two head sculpts. We'll take a look at those in a, in a bit. And yeah, let's take a closer look at his beautiful face. And here he is, all up in your face. So you can see the the detail is it's almost as close as you can get to Hot Toys. It's the reason why I got them. Because a lot of third party head sculpts are a little meh. But this guy, I mean at a certain angle you could see Heath Ledger a bit. Let's see if I can get some light there. This head sculpt is unique because um, he comes with two hair bits. Like, let's see if I can get this thing. Comes out. So he has like these little pegs in his head. There's one there, and there's one up here. So let me see if I can do this on camera. If you stick it here. I mean, the pegs aren't really strong, unfortunately. They do fall off really easily. And this is his, this is his little, little emo hair. Little Maybelline hair, maybe he's worth it. So here you try to stick it on him. Very, very genteel. Sorry, out of focus. And there we go. I mean, <laughs> he does look pretty, well he looks pretty, but he looks pretty weird to me because that thing is just, it's just, sticking out there like it's supposed to replicate wind I'm, I'm, I'm guessing but it it doesn't really uh, yeah, maybe like this you could, you could maybe like you could see it but I don't know man this is kind of 
I could have done without this little weird attachment because you could see the seam lines here. And you know, if I take it out, he has a weird square peg just just sitting on his head. But you know, it's on top of his head. So if you have him posed, maybe front, you, you don't really see it as much. It doesn't really destroy the, the whole head sculpt. I don't know, yeah, I don't know why they added this. It doesn't really make him look cool, it makes him look a little, a little edgy. Like you could cut yourself with how much edge this guy has. So edge. What? Uh, there we go. <sighs> Sorry, my hands are shaking. I just had a donut and I'm having a little sugar rush, I think. Uh, there we go. Let's take a look at his other head. So, here's his other head the laughing one. Now, what's unique about this is he looks. Look, he's a he's a sweaty boy. You can see he's got one too many Happy Meals in him. I, mean, I don't think the other DX11 had sweat particles like this. I mean, the DX11 does look greasy, but he doesn't have this little speckling, these little water drops, which is pretty unique. I don't think Hot Toys ever did things like this before. He's glistening, he's glowing, he's happy. He's like, one more please. One more burger. One more. Ah. All right, so this is the, this is the official Hot Toys DX11. And this is the Fire Toys Joker McDonald's guy. So as you can see, you know, if I could frame him properly. How do reviewers do this? I got my dumb phone, a weird stool. All right, you know what? Let's just do this. Yeah, I think that's okay. There we go. I don't know, what do you guys think? They look pretty close. They look pretty dang close. Look at that. Pretty close. I mean, the hair can do some with this guy. It looks a little too top ramen hair, Rastafarian thing going on here. And the DX11 yeah, looks a little more seaweed, but it's an old figure. I guess the old figures are easier to copy nowadays. Look at that. What are you guys doing? And he does come with a bunch of accessories. And here are some of his accessories he comes with. Uh, this guy is pretty loaded for the third party. So let's go through them one by one, shall we? So first off, you got this, I wanna say it's a flashbang or a smoke grenade. I'm guessing it's a smoke grenade because of that one scene at the bank where he shoves this thing in that one guy's face. So this is, yeah. And then we have a grenade. A really tiny, tiny grenade. Oh, it's flickering going on. Let's see if I can fix that. Flicker, flicker, go away. There we go. Oh, it's brighter too. So we've got three of those. Oh dear. Stop that. Then we got a Flash bang grenade. I'm very, very knowledgeable of grenades because I play a lot of violent games when I was young. I could be wrong, but this does look like a flashbang grenade. 
There we go with the weapons. We have one very, very stylish AK-47. This thing articulates. Oh, not okay. This one didn't break. <laughs> I should have tested this before I start chewing. Let's just fold it up because it fits better in the frame if it's folded up. So, yeah, it's painted pretty decently. It does the job, you know what it is. Can you glue this? I think the clip is glued in there, but it's, it feels loose. But maybe it's because it's bad glue, so you know, I don't want to break it on camera. So this is the AK-47 this guy comes with. Very pop party, you know? It's a cool piece. Then we have his machine gun he used in that in the movie. As you can see, it broke. I thought this thing could swivel. So when I first opened it, I tried to swivel it, but I don't know, maybe the, the pegs were glued in too tightly that it just snapped off. Ugh, so let's let's just put this thing here and Look at this thing. Yep, as you can see. There we go. I want to say about the paint. I mean, it's, it's not just slapped on. I mean, there was a little care into it. You can see some wash here. Oh wow, yeah, you, this retracts. I don't know why why these toys have this function. Because this is a very, it's a very, very, how do you say, hard. So I don't see how you can position a figure to hold this in place. Because that spring is really, really aggressive. Yeah, there we go. This is one of the other machine guns he comes with. I should get better at lighting when I do this. Everything looks a little yellow. Then we have his little, little tiny handgun. This, this, the wash on this is a bit, it's a bit, uh, how do you say, ambitious? <laughs> Cause look at that. The guy just slapped it on and said, okay, good to go boss. Well, you know, it's a third party, so you can't really see it an extended clip which is which is fairly cleaner than the gun so yeah I don't display this guy with the gun because I don't know, it doesn't really it's not my style to do that yes yes you have an you have an obnoxious car good job okay then we have this it's a large cup of coke Ronald McDonald over there. Let's see if I could fix the yellowness a bit. Yeah, is that better? I guess that's better. So yeah, this is cup. This is, got some ice. Straw. It's a sturdy straw. I mean, it won't. It's not flimsy, and it, it won't break. This thing is pretty versatile. And we have his little cup of fries. Not much to say. It's a bunch of fries. If only McDonald's fries stuck out like this. No such thing. We get them all soggy and oily here. And we got his little burger. Fat burger, actually. Look at that. Jesus. He does come with a hole. I don't know what that hole is, but it's there. Maybe it's to grip it, so you could put the thumb in there, and then he's eating it. Yeah, but this is the, the burger he comes with. And along with that, he comes with three extra hands. And these hands are pretty basic. The detail is there. I mean, you can see it's a glove. It's very nicely detailed, but the paint is, it's just one, sh one shade of paint really. It's nothing 
there's no real paint detail into it. I mean, yeah, you can put the burger in here and it's a good time. You want some fries with your burger, man? You want some fries? Let's see. Put you here. There we go. Then we got his trigger finger for the right hand. Doesn't really grip onto the, the the trigger. It's mostly like he's about to shoot you. But that finger doesn't go into the hole to pull the trigger. And then we have one last one is huh, a grip hand, I guess, for the grenade. But this, this thing is this thing is not easy to pry open very rigid. So I don't know what this hand is for actually. I mean, he, he, obviously he's holding something, but he can't hold a gun because there's the trigger finger. Isn't it? Eh. You get one holding hand. So here he is in one pose. I call this pose, would you like fries with that? Here's one last pose for you guys, because the sun's going and I have to use my little yellow lamp to capture this video, so any longer then I'll have no more lights. It's looking like a very yellow video, but here he is with the, his trench coat on. I don't know, it looks like he's wearing a bathrobe. It doesn't look like a... Like a very sophisticated trench coat. It looks like a bathrobe. And the material also doesn't really help because it's... It's like this fluffy kind of thing. So he is holding... a large cup of coke. And I call this pose... Coked up! Well, that concludes my review of this guy. If my opinion means anything, I, I really recommend any collector who likes the Joker, Batman, one six figure, or well, you know, pop culture in general, because this guy is also, it's kind of a work of art if you think about it. A little nod to modern consumerism. Now his official name is Uncle Burger Clown. It's not the joke of McDonald's because obviously uh, licensing issues. So his name is Uncle Burger Clown. Try to look that up. Maybe you'll find some on eBay. But for me, I have not seen this guy on my local listings for a while. I'm lucky I came across him on that random day I just decided to go on a random site and put a pre-order for him uh, let's go look at that greasy face look at the meat sweats what a sweaty boy you are oh. Sorry about the motorcycle noise, guys, but you know. A lot of morons driving around here likes to show off their little cars with their big exhaust that doesn't go very fast. It is what it is. So that's it, yeah. So go get him!